Back in the borderland, a doctor at Las Palmas Medical Center here in El Paso is leading a clinical trial using technology that's being used to prevent injuries during certain surgeries. Las Palmas is the first and only site in the world to enroll patients in this trial. NC9 Today's Daniel Lopardo is live near the hospital in West Central El Paso with more on this. Good morning, Daniela. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Well, Dr. Richard Farnham is hoping to change the way surgeries are done across the country by reducing the number of injuries, all by using a fluorescent chemical that lets surgeons see a part of the body that's oftentimes injured because it's hard to see since it's deep within tissue. It's certainly our hope that this could change the standard of care in the way that we practice medicine. Dr. Richard Farnham says 600,000 women in the U.S. have a hysterectomy every year. About 1% of the time, the ureter, which is a tube that goes from the kidney down to the bladder, is injured. It happens because uh, it can't be seen, okay? It's deep within the tissue and it's hidden. And unfortunately, during the surgery, uh, either energy or by sharp dissection, it can be injured. According to Dr. Farnham, his team is the first in the world to evaluate patients with the new fluorescent chemical that's used to protect the ureter during surgery. This is all we would see on the right pelvic sidewall. When we switch our camera to the near infrared imaging, it fluoresces and we actually can see the exact location of this organ, of this tube, of the ureter. So like Superman, we can see through the tissue. So far, 19 surgeries have been performed with the chemical. We're happy to report there's no adverse side effects, which is always one of the things that we're very concerned about. Dr. Farnham hopes to roll out the procedure in the next two to three years. Reporting live in West Central El Paso, Daniela Pardo, NC9 Today.